Initializing second newcomer training sequence. Greetings, Protector, and welcome to Infinite Crisis Training. Now that you've learned some preparation basics, it's time for your first match. Press the C key to lock or unlock your camera, or hold the spacebar to temporarily lock the camera. Remain watchful of your minimap. Enemy champions and drones appear on the minimap when near allied drones, champions, and structures. Strategic objectives like the control points in Gotham Heights and power relays in Coast City are also found on the minimap. Move a champion by right-clicking in-world or on the minimap. Use a champion's basic attack by right-clicking an enemy yes. one time. This causes a champion to move into their unique attack range and begin auto-attacking. By default, champions continue auto-attacking until given a different command. The bottom UI element, known as the skill bar, provides information about a champion's default skill and stolen power hotkeys. Q, W, E, and R activate skills, while D and F activate stolen powers. Use champion skills or stolen powers by holding the cursor over the intended target, pressing the corresponding hotkey, and releasing when ready to fire. Cancel a skill or stolen power by right-clicking, and continue ordering move commands without firing by left-clicking. When low on health or will, press the B key to use base teleport. Base teleport is essential to avoid defeat. When used, you will return to base where you can heal and upgrade artifacts. Experience grants new levels that each award one skill point spent to unlock or upgrade a single champion skill. Recommended skills are useful suggestions, but protectors can override them. Credit is spent at the Artifact Foundry to reclaim lost artifacts from significant moments of Earth Zero's history, granting their owners powerful combat boosts. While inside your base or waiting to respawn, press the P key or click the credit button to open the Artifact Foundry. A champion can hold a maximum of six artifacts, but many artifacts have multiple assembly tiers with higher tiers costing more credit but providing greater combat boosts. Movement speed, damage boosts, defense boosts, and attack speed boosts are just a few examples of ways that artifacts can enhance a champion. The KDA represents a protector's kill-defeat-assist ratio, a match-specific measure of enemy champion kills, personal defeats, and occasions where a protector successfully assisted in defeating an enemy champion. Immediately after defeat by an enemy, their champion's information is found on the kill card. Similar information can be found for everyone on both teams by pressing the tab key to see the scorecard. We'll dive deeper into using the kill card in our next training sequence. All champions earn significantly more credit and experience from defeating other champions. After defeat, a respawn timer must finish counting down before a champion is allowed back into the fight. This gives the enemy team less opposition while they earn experience, credit, or push to claim match-winning objectives. This concludes the second newcomer training sequence.